It's been quite a while since I last did a weapon challenge, so today we're going to be trying to get to round 50 only using the ballista as our weapon, and hopefully this goes well. Personally, I haven't really used a ballista that much. I'll sometimes pick it up from a dick side if I get it, but most of the time, I'll just go straight for the MP40. That's usually my go-to. Sometimes if I get it from a dick site, I'll maybe shoot it a couple times just to get some points, and then I'll buy something else. So I'm pretty excited to see how strong it'll actually be later on in the game. For the most part, I was trying to maximize points, so I went for headshots and then slowly made my way towards Jug. And finally, I felt safe. Every time I play Origins, it feels insanely intense if you don't have Jug. I then went towards Gen 5 and bought the second best perk on Origins. Stamina Up is a must buy on Origins. The mud is no joke, especially with the setup that I had, I was gonna need Stamina Up. I tried my best to get as many points as I could so I can get Pack Punch open. Of course, I do have to open up the entire map and have the generators on, but sadly, I couldn't get enough and round 8 was right around the corner. I really underestimated the amount of points I'd be getting with the Ballista. I was going for headshots most of the time, but I thought I would have way more points by now. I'm gonna go grab the shield at least. Or, yeah, no, nah, because the church is kind of expensive. I think we're gonna spend at least, what is it, it's 1250 for the first door and then i think is it a thousand for oh no oh no oh no 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 no! oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i forgot that oh my god 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 this is not good this is not good this is not good this is not good oh okay 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 oh don't claw me no i can't build a shield i'm such an idiot this is the only run that's scary after this bro that was so close to me that was so close all right, he's, he's getting down. He's getting down. Oh, zombie. <gasps> I only have two shots left. Oh, no. Okay, I'm throwing grenades. <gasps> the robot's going to grief me. Oh, my God. This is the worst situation I've ever been. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. Lift the foot. 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 No. Dude, you got to be kidding me. The robot literally we're coming back. We're coming back. We're coming back. We're coming back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're coming back from this situation right now, fellas. That was so unlucky. Why did all of the robots have to walk at the same time? Good jug. I completely underestimated the amount of ammo. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to my ammo at all. Yeah, this area is so scary to be in. The trenches are not good. Oh my god, he's coming in from the top ropes. I'll take the double points. Oh my god, he's right behind me. <laughs> go down, go down, go down. Yes! Get wrecked! Yes! <laughs> At what cost, man? We lost everything. Finally! Okay, that... Oh, man, I can't believe it went down. That's the worst part, because I was hoping that I would at least not lose my perks so that i could have enough points to open up the whole map instead <laughs> that sucked thankfully now <laughs> i had enough to open up the entire map and i was able to get pack a punch open and by the way i will be getting rid of the mauser later on in the game once i have enough points usually i don't like having any other weapon even the starting pistol just so i don't like instinctively switch to it because sometimes it'll happen usually i'll just i don't know if i'm in a sticky situation where i want to run a little bit faster i'll pull it out so i definitely don't want to have it at all i just want to have the ballista in my inventory usually i'll just pack a punch and then leave it in the pack a punch so it completely disappears for now though i was very happy with my shiny new infused arbalist which is a pretty awesome name by the way so yeah after that pretty rocky start it was finally time to grind I decided I would just trade here near the Generator 5 area. This spot's pretty good, it's nice and open. The bad part though is that sometimes you can get stuck, so I was a little cautious of that, but thankfully, the Ballista was insanely good. It felt amazing actually being able to one-shot zombies no matter where you shot them. I didn't have to go for the headshots anymore, body shots would kill now, so this was awesome. And one little cool thing that I found out while I was doing this challenge is that the Ballista, once you pack a punch it, has the same sound 
as the papped DSR. I, I never knew this. What? And by the way, if you guys do hear any background noise, I do apologize as there is some work being done inside of my house right now. So, you know, hopefully it doesn't sound too crazy. Hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up too much. But yeah, if you guys do hear anything, it's just uh, like drills and stuff going out. So I do apologize about that. But after buying all four of my perks, I got the reward for spending 30,000 points. So I made my way towards spawn for good old double tap. Oh, the god tier perk. This is the best way to set up, in my opinion, as it guarantees that you'll get five perks. This is actually what I was planning on doing before round eight. I was hoping that I would have enough points to get my perks, get the map open, spend the 30,000 points, and then get the double tap for free. But things kind of fell apart whenever I found out I was not going to have enough points to do all that. So, yeah, that's why I was kind of underprepared for the Panzer round, because I thought I was going to have a little bit more, but... It's completely fine. <laughs> as long as I didn't die, I was good. But I was also making sure to dig as many of the dig sites as I could so that I can get the golden shovel. The golden shovel would allow me to start getting red dig sites, allowing me to get more perk slots, and I'd be able to get the golden helmet as well, which would help me a lot since the robot passes by in this area very often. There it is, the golden shovel. There it is, no way, we actually got one. Okay. So that is pretty much guaranteed that if I go down, I'll be able to buy double tap again. So that's good. As we were entering the 20s, I was very pleased to see the ballista was still one-shotting. And by the way, this thing is great against panzers. I mean, it is a sniper, so it is going to be doing pretty good. And double tap was for sure helping a lot. But I didn't think the ballista would be this good. I guess in my mind, since it's a starting room weapon, I imagined it would fall off pretty early on. But I was quite surprised, and I was having a blast using it too. As I passed the one hour mark, by the way, I don't know what I was on this day, because one hour for 22 is wild. But I got my shiny new helmet, and I was now comfortable getting stepped on by the robots. So if you guys haven't watched any of my previous weapon challenges, I kind of like to do this thing where I round lock equipment. Essentially, I was allowed to buy or get certain equipment, like the claymores or monkey bombs, but I needed to hit a certain round to actually buy them. I like to do this as it spices things up and it makes me feel like I'm working towards something else and not just going for the rounds. So for this game, I needed to get to round 30 to be able to buy the claymores. And if I wanted to, I could also go for the G-Strikes or Monkey Bombs, but I had to get to round 40 first. Of course, this is the Ballista only challenge, so I mainly wanted to use that. So I kind of like these rules as it just makes it more fun. Before I knew it, the 20s had gone by, and I was now allowed to buy the Claymores. Oh, wait, uh, okay, well, I should have maybe gone to get ammo, it's okay. We've got the Claymores unlocked, so now I can buy them. Look at these clean things, I still have these, um, skins on them. They look so clean. Shout out to Suzuki, by the way, for making them for me. Going into the 30s, I thought for sure the Ballista would not be one-shot headshotting anymore. And I was shocked to find out I was wrong. And I'm glad I was wrong. <laughs> the Ballista's actually goaded for this. And since it would also shred the Panzers, I really wasn't worried about them either. It would usually take around 4 or 5 shots to take down the Panzer. And since I would start the round in the same spot every time, I knew where he would spawn and I could easily deal with him. The ammo was also holding up too. The Ballista would still be able to end the round without me having to buy ammo mid-round, which was great. I would usually save a couple of zombies at the end of the round, and then I would slowly walk them towards spawn to get ammo. And then at that time too, I would just get the shield as well if I needed one. At this point in the game, I also felt that it wasn't really worth going for red dig sites anymore. I would definitely look for them whenever I would get my hands on a zombie blood, but I didn't really prioritize it anymore. I mean, there really isn't any other good perk I could get. I feel like I already have the good ones. I was thinking of maybe getting PhD, as that would help whenever I was spamming Semtexes or something during an insta-kill, but that's about it. Electric Cherry wasn't that necessary either, and we all know how Deadshot is, <laughs> I don't really need that either, uh, but Mule Kick also would be pointless, so, you know, there really isn't anything else that I necessarily need. It definitely wasn't me just sucking at finding the right dick sites because I couldn't find them, <sighs> that it could not be me. As I was slowly climbing up the rounds, I was eager to find out when the Ballista would stop one-shotting when I got a headshot. Honestly, part of me was more interested in finding that out more than hitting the goal. And as we got closer to round 40, 
I found out. Looks like on round 39, the one-shotting stopped. It's hilarious how I would just knock the helmet off the zombies now, but it was two-shot headshot, which is a pretty good round. I mean, 39 to stop one-shotting? I will say, maybe it was 38, maybe I just didn't notice it too much, but on round 39, I was for sure not getting any more one-shot headshots. I guess I wasn't really sure what else to expect either, as this is a sniper wall buy most of the time with ARs, SMGs, shotguns. They really won't do the best damage. I guess maybe shotguns are also pretty good as well. I actually haven't done a shotgun only challenge. Boys, let me know. Hit the like button if I should do that. But, you know, it's a sniper. So you would imagine that the headshot multiplier on the sniper is really good. And, of course, with the effect of double tap, this thing is really, really good. I, I'm surprised. This is a good round. Also, the claymores were barely even killing anymore. And they mainly made a bunch of crawlers. This actually did screw me over a couple of times. And the crawlers were still pretty strong. And I would actually have to shoot them in the head a couple of times. So, you know, the claymores were were falling off for sure now. <laughs> so I guess the real grind had finally started. Now that we're killing the zombies way slower, I knew going into the 40s, things were about to get ugly. So you know how I was talking about maybe getting the monkey bombs or G-strikes now that I hit round 40? Well, I decided against it. I felt it was really not necessary at all, and once I got this far, I realized they would not help as much as I originally thought. Thankfully, we hadn't gone down since the first pans around, so I felt good about playing without them. It also didn't help that I only had 3 out of the 6 generators on at this point, and it sucked that the box was at one of the generators that wasn't on. Since I didn't need Pack-a-Punch and I already have my setup, I just let some of the generator zombies take down most of the generators so that they wouldn't spawn anymore. I just felt that it would be way too dangerous to even try defending the generators, so most of them just turned off. By the way, this was streamed on Twitch, so if you're interested, check the link in the description. It'd be awesome to see some of you guys over there. Now it was sinking in. It was taking three headshots to kill a zombie. But I had to see it through. We were already too deep. It's We're almost there. At this point, I needed to go buy ammo at least once a round to finish it, which made things take way longer. Oh, I'm going to get stepped on. Your boys was going for a... Uh... Run 100 on. Oh my god, I can't read the chat. Panzer, where are you, dude? If okay, watch this. If we get Panzer and he gives us an insta kill, we're good. Just give me a nuke or an insta kill, Panzer, please. Anything. Just don't be. Don't be a double points. Oh, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. Let's go. Come here, Pinocchio. I'm gonna try to kill him when he's close. Maybe like what right here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! No, no, no! No way the Panzer actually got me. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. The Panzer actually got me. Okay, we got shield. We got shield. We got shield. I love how the Panzer gave me double points. No way! <laughs> it took so many shots. Oh, we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Uh, oh, we're not chilling. Panzer, no, he actually grabbed me. No, that was so bad. Imagine if he would give me a nuke and I would have got out of that. Damn it. To be fair, I've been very close to death, so I kind of deserved that. <laughs> Alright, so let me see if I can get double tap back at least. We don't have all the generators on, so I'm not going to buy all the perks back immediately. Okay, double tap is good. We have generators 3, 4, and 5. 3, we can get speed cola back. If I can get quick revive out of this, that would be awesome. No way! No way! What is this luck? If I can get speed cola out of this, that would be good too. I'm not picking up Cherry. Needed to shoot the red light. Yeah, the thing is, I was... I was hoping that I'd be able to kill him before. <laughs> I was I was I was hoping I'd be able to kill him before I got to him. That was the thing. That's why I went for the face. The last parents we got took around five or six shots to die. So I thought that I could just take him out after I broke his helmet. That's why I went for the face. But damn. It's fine though. We just gotta get speed cola back. 
and I'll grab stamina up because that, that's that's on. This is really lucky to get quick revive. I never get quick revive out of the one if is. God, this is stressful. We're almost five hours in. I can't die. Can't die like this. I got really lucky too with everything here. Like I said in the clip, getting quick revive out of the wonder phase is pretty rare for me. Of course, since we did get a free perk slot from one of the red dig sites earlier, I was able to get all my perks back. And after five hours and 37 minutes, I finally did it. Wait, is this the end of the round? <gasps> no, it's the end of the round, dude. It's the end of the round. 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 Yes, 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 yes. And the run as fast as I can. No way. Dude, we did it. We've only gone and done it. Dude, yes. This is it. Holy sh. Let's go. We did it, dude. How long? How long? There it is. Five hours and 37 minutes. Yes. Yes. Yes! Watch this. Wee! Boom! Yes! That's the end of the challenge, dude, man. Yes! So we got 4,177 kills, 4 downs, 3 revives, 1,974 headshots. I don't know why I keep on saying 1,900. 1,974 headshots. I'm very proud I was able to see it through, as these challenges could sometimes be very tedious, but it was very worth it in the end. I also learned a lot about the Ballista. Like I said in the beginning, I don't really use it at all, so this was really fun. I was pretty happy with the results of the Ballista. This thing is really awesome. And I do want to give a big shout out to everybody that was there on stream, as you guys helped me a lot just by chatting it up in there so I wasn't just powering through the rounds, as that could be very very boring sometimes so shout out to you guys you made it more fun and if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see me do another weapon challenge leave your suggestions down below it could be any game and really any weapon i got you guys by the way if i do sound a little bit sick right now dude my allergies are popping the hell off this pollen man there was so much pollen outside i don't even know what to do with myself <laughs> so yeah if i did sound weird at any point in this video it's that damn pollen kicking my ass right now <laughs> If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one, fellas. Peace! I do want to give a special thanks to the YouTube members, the Twitch subscribers, and the Discord boosters. You guys support the channel a ton, so I appreciate you guys a lot. Shout out to the Scrub Lords, Red, Ash, Nut King Called, FN40, Muscle, Creek, Joff underscore Easybots, The Zombie Guru, The Big J6, LST Hang, Knuckles Vivo, Lightmeister89, Kava808 underscore YT, Uncle Nikolai, Nut King Called, and Jake Snusbuster once more. Appreciate you guys so much. If you guys want a special shout out as well at the end of each video, definitely check the description. There'll be some links down there if you guys want to become a YouTube member, a Twitch subscriber, or even a Discord booster if you like using Discord. So yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys.